trying to live a, a, an effective Christian life holistically, it is value. And even though I am not selling it, God's laws will not change. Every time you dispense value, a reward will come eventually. Whether it is sold or it is given free. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Give. I'm giving now. Because I love Jesus and I love you. But it will be given unto me. Because it is a law. I don't have to receive where I gave. But I will receive what I gave. So I am giving you in Koinonia here. And the reward for what I'm doing now can be waiting for me even in another nation. And somebody will bless me. It is how it works. But hear me, ladies and gentlemen, everybody must be valuable. You must be an active contributor. What you call products and services are simply your value that you are now packaging to become products and services with excellence. Are we together? I'll talk about productivity shortly, but it's important. You must find something that you have that the world needs that they are willing to pay you for. It's important. Very important. I wrote something here, in fact. Write a list. Write a list of the things that people are willing to pay for. Most of you don't know what people are willing to pay for. If you don't know what people are willing to pay for, then you will never, 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 never be able to receive money under normal circumstances. What are people willing to pay for? Hallelujah. There are thousands of people on this ground outside all the overflows and after service, most likely, more than 60% to 70% of the people gathered here are going to eat before they sleep. Am I right on that? There is a guarantee that by morning they will eat again. By afternoon they will eat again. By nights they will eat again. All through their lifetime, what people are willing to pay for. Men must dress. Someone made what I'm wearing. Someone made what you're wearing. Someone will make what you wear tomorrow. There is no day in your entire lifetime even when people die, they bury them with clothes. What people are willing to pay for? Your phone. Your phone gets missing and you become disoriented until you get a SIM, get another phone. Telecommunication companies make billions by the day. What people are willing to pay for? How about those who transported you from your house to bring you here? There are hundreds of people waiting now after service to convey those who may not have their vehicles yet to take them back home and for every one of them you will pay for what people are willing to pay for every day somebody's birthday what people are willing to pay for every day every week is someone's wedding are we together now we're stepping into the festive period what people are willing to pay for there is a 33 million housing deficit in Nigeria 33 million housing deficit in Abuja here by the privilege of God's grace sometimes when I want to help people maybe here and there their accommodation someone can get the accommodation and just before they pay for it you hear that someone else has come to pay for it because there is a housing deficit especially among young people who are starting what people are willing to pay for how about health who will not pay any amount to remain alive what people are willing to pay for. Are we together? I'm giving you an example so that you don't just sit down and say there is nothing I can, I can do. It's not true. Whoever believed that in a world where 70% of the world is immersed in water, you still pay for water. The one thing almost all of us pay for is water. Any nation, anywhere, we pay for water. You are paying for the, one of the most abundant resources on earth. You pay for water. You pay for land. The only thing we don't pay for yet is air. Hallelujah. Did you hear what I said? Yet. Hoping that we are not careless with our environment until it becomes polluted and we start selling air. Bring what is only for ICU patients and it now becomes for rich people because the world has become polluted by the selfishness of people. Ladies and gentlemen, you know you are valuable by who is willing to follow you. If nobody is following you, is a report card that you are not valuable or valuable enough. As a man of God, as an individual, who is following you 
and willing to pay for what you can do. Are we together? It is amazing, ladies and gentlemen, that when you become valuable, it does not guarantee that you'll be wealthy. No. But that value already puts you in a position of advantage because now you are ready to move to the next level called productivity. Productivity. The law of value talks about discovering the solutions that you can bring to people. But productivity is the art of packaging your value and turning it into products and services. Listen carefully. Productivity is different from value. Value talks of discovery. Productivity talks of packaging, refining your value. There are many people who can sew, many people who can sing, but nobody can pay them for it. The reason is because it's still at the realm of value. They are not yet productive. Are we together? Productivity. 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 And then, the next law that I'll talk about very quickly is the law of excellence. This one is a very serious one. This is what separates men from boys.